Ladies and gentlemen, I have teamed up with Epic Games to bring you a top 10 list of things that you need to know if you're going to be successful in the new Battle Royale mode for the game Fortnite. So you're probably wondering what is the dealio with this? Well, yes, it is a Battle Royale game. It does have a lot of resemblances to PUBG, there's no doubt about that. But let's be real, PUBG was not the first Battle Royale game on the market, and this one certainly does bring some new stuff to the table. And understanding what that new stuff is and how to take advantage of it is the difference between winning and losing. One of the best parts about it is the fact that PS4 players will actually get to play the game. PUBG is going to be only available on PC and soon coming to Xbox, no word yet on whether or not it's coming to PS4 but guess what if you are on PC or Xbox or PS4 you are going to be able to play this and download it for free from today yes absolutely 100% for free it is available to you do not need to have Fortnite the base game at all this is just a completely standalone game that you can download right now so go and do it because there's no cost associated with it so why not give it a go I've left a link in the description below that takes you to where you need to get to if you want to get your hands on this so click on that while you're listening to the rest of this video and let's continue all right so what's the deal where well, the game starts in the pre lobby there's nothing to do here other than walk around and jump on tires and shoot other people that no damage and just act like idiots and then all of a sudden you're into the battle bus which is a bus suspended by a balloon flying over a map and this is where the fun really begins because this is where you need to choose where you need to eject and I guess tip number one is make sure that when you eject you are staying as far away from other players as possible you're gonna fall down to the earth eventually your glider is gonna come out and you're gonna choose where you land you don't want to be landing anywhere near anybody else because it greatly increases the chance that that person is gonna be able to loot a weapon before you clock you in the head and then boom it's game over for you you are back in the queue so tip Number one, make sure when you land you stay as far away from other people as possible. It's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Tip number two, the weapons that you're choosing make a huge difference. Now obviously you can't really choose which weapons you have with you because it's all about random looting. You'll drop on a part of the map and hopefully there's a good weapon nearby. Sometimes there's a crap weapon, sometimes there's no weapon at all. But eventually as you continue to progress through the game, you're going to find more and more weapons and then it's about which ones do you stick with. Well my very strong advice to you is to stick with longer range weapons like the sniper rifle and the auto rifle. The shotguns and the SMGs, they're fine, but they don't give you a lot of versatility. A lot of the time, you're going to spend looking far over the distant horizon, hoping that you can shoot a target at range, and a shotgun really doesn't do much in that context. If you're smart and you know how to protect yourself up close with an assault rifle by getting the jump on your opponent, then even a shotgun isn't going to save them. So, as much as possible, try and hold on to those long-range weapons. They really are going to help you out in a very, very big way. Tip number three, and this is especially one for the PUBG fans out there. The weapons in this game are a lot more arcadey than they are in a game like PUBG. The weapon bloom, or that is how much your bullets spray in a random direction as you fire, is pretty damn big, especially when you're using those auto weapons. So, Tip number three, make sure when you're firing automatic weapons, you're firing in small controlled bursts. It's true in other games, but it's especially true here because the weapon bloom is completely out of control. And if you hold down the trigger for more than one or two seconds, the gun becomes practically useless, especially at longer ranges. Burst fire those babies and you're going to find yourself far more effective than if you are just spraying and praying. Tip number four is something that PUBG fans will definitely know, and that is to be very, very aware of the safe circle. So for anyone new to this genre, there's going to be a big circle on the map and it's going to constantly get smaller and smaller and it forces players to get into a smaller area so they actually need to fight each other rather than just staying in their little camping spots hiding throughout the map. As you continue to play the game and the circle gets smaller and smaller, you cannot be caught outside that circle because if you do, you will start to take damage. It's a little bit of damage at first, but it's a lot of damage towards the end, so you need to be really, really aware of that and plan all of your moves based upon where that circle is. Another key tip is when you're starting to get closer and closer towards the center, make sure that you're looking at the buildings and structures as you get closer to them. Because it's very likely that people know the circle is getting smaller, they're sitting in those structures, and they're looking out, waiting for someone to have to 
run in because the circle is forcing them in. It's a very common strategy used in these sorts of games. I've used it all the time and other people are going to use it here in Battle Royale as well. So as you make that approach, keep an eye on those buildings and try and avoid buildings if you can altogether because it significantly increases the chances that you are not going to get sniped by some random dude hanging out in the house waiting for you to get forced in by the circle. Tip number five, and this is probably the most important one. Remember that this is a game about avoiding death rather than trying to maximize kills. This is not Call of Duty. This is not Halo. This is not Destiny. This is not all sorts of other games. This is very much about you staying alive because you can get 98 kills in this game, but if you die to that last guy, you have still lost. It's entirely about staying alive. So my message here is make sure that you are very careful with all of your moves. Don't try to be Rambo. Don't run and gun. Be as careful as you can when you're entering structures. Always keep an eye about what's going on around you and aim to minimize deaths rather than maximize your kill count because that is how you are successful in a battle royale game. It's a huge mind shift change. It definitely takes some getting used to because all other video games have conditioned you to think this way, but you need to think about it differently here. Otherwise, you are going to find yourself losing every single game and that is just not fun. Tip number six. Remember that if you kill someone, don't loot them immediately unless you are extremely sure that no one is around. One of the best things you can do in a battle royale game is watch an encounter taking place. Wait for that person to go over to the loot where they're going to be stationary. They're not going to be moving around at that point. They're going to be standing still and then you can just line up an awesome headshot on them and boom, down they go. Make sure you take careful stock of your surroundings when you choose to loot because you are at your most vulnerable at that point. I know it can be tempting to go ahead and grab everything you see, but just take that extra second to look around and make sure you're safe. It will save you very, very often. Tip number seven. Now, some of you may not know this, but Fortnite is a game that actually lets you build structures and you can do the same thing in their Battle Royale game mode. Now, this is the biggest difference between PUBG and this game. You can actually build your own stuff. You can build houses, you can build walls, you can build ramps, you can lay traps, you can do all sorts of stuff. So you may think, cool, I'm just going to build myself a nice safe castle and just hang out in here, no problem. But the fact is, this actually makes you a very, very vulnerable target. So tip seven, don't build buildings because you basically just make yourself a sitting duck when you do that. There are some structures that you should be building and we'll talk about those soon, but buildings are not one of them. Aim to use existing buildings because people don't know if you're in them or not, but if they see a big constructed building sitting in the middle of the map, then they can be pretty damn sure that you are in it and they are probably going to be able to take you out. So that brings us to tip number eight. What should you build then? Well, in Battle Royale, the best thing you can build is actually ramps and stuff to get you to inaccessible places. In this example that you're seeing on screen here, I'm inside a house and I'd like to be able to get up to the roof, but there's actually no way for me to do that. This would be a great spot for me to get to, really protected, great cover, and I want to get there. How do I do it? Well, in Battle Royale, I can build a ramp to get up there and then I can just kind of camp out there and I've got a great line of sight and the enemy's outside me. Boom, I ended up winning this game, by the way, because this little spot here was so useful. And this is what I'm talking about. You want to build ramps and you want to build stuff that makes it so that you can reach unaccessible places. You can't do that in PUBG. You can't do that in other Battle Royale games, but you can absolutely do it here. And it definitely makes you think very differently about the topography. If you want to get up to a nice high hill, if you want to build a bridge across a river, you can absolutely do that. It's up to you. As long as you're willing to think laterally about how you build, you can reach some awesome places is giving you a huge combat advantage. Tip number nine, and this is a real game changer. Do be aware that pretty much anything that exists in this game can be blown the f*** up. Now, in other games, structures are structures and they sort of stand pretty tall and explosives can't really do much to them. But in this game, an RPG can bring down pretty much any structure. So once again, in this example, I've got myself a nice little hiding spot here and I think I'm all sitting pretty when all of a sudden, boom, a rocket launcher comes in, completely takes off the roof of this place and then I'm forced to adapt. So be ready, have an escape plan ready at all times. Assume that your cover or your little spot is gonna get blown up by an RPG. And yes, this does include things like trees. So uh, be ready to move at any time because the cover that you have at one second can be absolutely gone the next and then you are very, very exposed. Tip number 10, and I cannot stress this enough, drink your shield potion. Other games have things like armor which drops on the ground, you equip it, it'll increase your survivability. But in this game, you have a potion that you drink that will give you a shield. It's a blue potion, dunk it and you give yourself basically a 
second health bar, a huge, huge boost in survivability will give you an absolutely massive advantage in combat. Don't leave home without it. As soon as you see this thing on the ground, pick it up, drink it. Please, for the love of God, it took me ages to learn this. I don't want to see you make that same mistake. Drink your shield potion. And that is it, guys. That is Fortnite's Battle Royale mod. As I said, you can download it in the description below. I've left a link down there. I've got to say, I had a lot of fun with this. But more than anything else, I'm just really glad that PS4 players are going to be able to have the chance to play something in this genre. It kind of sucks that they were left out in the cold. Now they're going to be able to enjoy something. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you like these tips, don't forget to drop the video a like. Subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.